Anytime you do something with the Beatles, it's special. This exhibit is, is a complement to Peter Jackson's docu-series, The Beatles Get Back. It's the first time that we've worked with all four of the principals simultaneously. We asked Peter Jackson's team for selected clips from the film that they felt would tell a good story showing the three separate locations. So there's two small theater spaces for Twickenham and Apple Studios, and then a larger seated theater space where we're showing a nice chunk of the rooftop concert. Certainly the rooftop is the culmination of the exhibit. It's the last time the Beatles performed in front of a live audience. In a way, the exhibit kind of tries to take the experience a step further and put you there with them. If we're gonna do it, we wanted to make sure that we did it right. It's vital to this show is to be able to have the artifacts and so people can interact and engage with those artifacts. So you have the outfit that Ringo wore on stage. You've got the denim jacket that John Lennon wore. You've got a suit that George wore throughout the recording and you've got a shirt that Paul wore. You've got George's guitar, you've got Paul's guitar that he played on the stage, you've got the drum kit that Ringo used throughout the entire session. We started production in here a couple months ago, but in terms of figuring out what the stories was going to be told and how they were going to be told, that's been taking place for over three years now. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be, whisper words.